Hello college biology students, this is our second video on nucleic acids and we're going to be concentrating on the monomers of nucleic acids. So let's go. The monomers of nucleic acids are called nucleotides. This whole thing is one nucleotide. And the nucleotide has two subcomponents. One of them is the phosphate group, uh, one phosphorus with four oxygen uh, always uh, connected to it. And then the second subregion is called the nucleoside, which is all of this stuff. That is subdivided into two smaller sections, a sugar and a nitrogenous base. Uh, so let's talk about each of these sections. Uh, there's not much to say about the phosphate. It's pretty consistent and is the same for all nucleotides. However, the uh, nitrogenous bases and the sugars are variable. Nitrogenous bases are rings of nitrogen and carbon, and you can see a lot of options for those over here, five different options, but it doesn't matter which option it is. It'll have a nitrogen, carbon, 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 nitrogen, carbon, so it's got a ring, and in the ring is nitrogen and carbon. Same thing over here. Now, there are two categorical varieties of these nitrogenous bases. They can be purines, which have two rings. One of them is a pentagon, and one of them is a hexagon, or pyrimidines, which have one ring, uh, just a hexagon. Hexagon. And uh, these purines and pyrimidines form hydrogen bonds with each other, and that's going to be important uh, later for lots of reasons. Uh, so those are what the nitrogenous bases can be. The sugars also are variable, and there are two options. The sugars can also either be deoxyribose or ribose. And uh, when we're discussing uh, the physical difference between deoxyribose and ribose, we have to identify what's going on at this carbon right here. Because deoxyribose and ribose are identical to each other except for this carbon. And this carbon has an address. When you're talking about sugars, uh, you start here, this oxygen that's in the ring is sort of the zero point, and then you go clockwise, and they uh, name the carbons. This is the one prime carbon, the two prime carbon, the three prime carbon, the four prime carbon, and the five prime carbon. That's going to be the same over here. Your zero point and then one prime carbon, two prime carbon, three prime carbon, four prime carbon, five prime carbon. So the difference between deoxyribose and ribose is what's happening on the two prime carbon. Two prime carbon. And uh, ribose has a hydroxide group on the two prime carbon. Deoxyribose does not. And that is kind of reflected in their names. Ribose was discovered and named first, and then they found deoxyribose and said, hey, this is a ribose sugar with an oxygen on the two prime carbon removed, deoxyribose. And so that's how these two sugars got their names, or at least that's how deoxyribose got its name. Now, Another significant fact about these sugars is that um, they influence how the nucleotides are used. Uh, nucleotides are monomers, so they're going to be put into polymers, and the polymers of nucleic acids are DNA and RNA. Well, if the nucleotides contain ribose, then this nucleotide with ribose is going to be used to make an RNA polymer. RNA does not contain the deoxyribose sugar. And the, the flip is that deoxyribose... If it's in the nucleotide, then that nucleotide is going to be used to make DNA. You do not make DNA with ribose sugars. In fact, the D of DNA is deoxyribo, and the R of RNA is ribo. So they are named after the sugars in their nucleotides. Let's review. Nucleotides are the monomers of nucleic acids. A nucleotide has two regions, a phosphate and a nucleoside. The phosphate, PO4 minus, is consistent in all nucleotides. The nucleoside has two components, a nitrogenous base and a sugar. The nitrogenous bases are rings of carbon and nitrogen. The categories of nitrogenous bases are purines and pyrimidines. Purines have two rings, a pentagon and a hexagon. Pyrimidines have one ring, just a hexagon. The purines and pyrimidines form hydrogen bonds with each other. And sugars are rings of carbon and oxygen. The sugars in nucleotides can be either ribose or deoxyribose. Ribose has a hydroxide on its two prime carbon and is used in nucleotides to make RNA. And deoxyribose does not have a hydroxide on its two prime carbon and is used in nucleotides to make DNA. I hope this helps. Struggle well.